welcome back to my channel um, a few people have asked me to go ahead and make a study tip kind of college hack video so this is what it's going to be about um, stay tuned I'll give you four of my main tips on how I study what makes it easier for me so my first tip is going to basically be to be present I know you're saying, oh, we're in a class, we're already going to be present. Make sure you go to class and obviously pay attention. Don't just go to class and sit on your phone or sleep. You know, actively be a part of your learning experience. Um, and have a determined mindset when you go. Even if it's a class that you're not necessarily good in or you don't get. Like for me, it's math. I go and I say, you know, I'm going to take notes. I'm going to try to do my best. And if I don't get it, I'm going to, you know, make sure I ask my instructor questions or, you know, email her with concerns that I have. Absorb the information. Try to actually learn it. Try, you know, some people are visual learners. Some people learn better by hearing. Make sure you find out how you learn best and then do that. If you learn better by hearing things, maybe take a recorder to class and, you know, you can play it back over and over and over or you know the good thing about these new smartphones is that we have recorders on our phones so just record you know on your phone and make sure you get your instructors um you know permission pay attention like i've said before don't just go and go to sleep actually pay attention that means a world of difference my second tip is to get organized i mean how can you know when a test is coming or when you even need to study if you're not organized? So I would say get a planner. And this is mine. This is mine. And it's simple. It was only a few dollars. And basically, use it. This is um, very minimalist this month. But um, I do use my planner. I'm a very, you know, avid enthusiast of planners write down what's due when it's due what class is you know for and go from there or if you're not a paper type of person like me I use a planner because I like to see the colors I like paper you know use the calendar that's on your phone you have a calendar that's on your phone use that and set reminders you put it in um, you can set it as like an event set reminders when things are due when you probably need to start studying for or you know reviewing for something and just go from there you have to get thing you have to get your time in order to even have time to study um set aside time for specific things so right in your calendar you can say hey i go to work from 11 to 3 uh maybe 3 30 when i get off of work i'm gonna get a snack or you know i'm gonna do something four o'clock you should be home you know, if that's in your in your schedule, studying from four to maybe five. Either way, go. Just make sure you set aside some time. My next tip is to take notes. A lot of people think that, oh, I go, I'm going to listen to it. You know, I'm a pretty good learner. I'm going to remember it. You're probably not going to remember it um, as soon as you walk out of class. So one thing that I've done or what I started doing this semester is printing out the PowerPoint. And I can follow along with the instructor, and whatever the instructor adds, I write it down so that I know it correlates with whatever's in the box. <clears throat> and you don't have to write, you know, very detailed notes because basically, by the time your instructor is going over the PowerPoint, you should have already read the chapter. So this is just stuff that your instructor thinks is important and that you need to know. Um, obviously, I, d I don't write on every side because my instructor doesn't think that everything is very important. Usually, if your instructor stresses that it's important, it's going to be on your exam, so you might want to write it down. Or, you can take notes while you're reading at home. And, you see these colors? Yes, I color coordinate. The yellow is going to be my sections in my chapter. The blue is going to be my vocabulary or terminology and the pink is things that I think are important and the pink writing is notes that I take in class as we're going over this if you take your notes exactly how you know your book you know goes with the chapter the flow of the book your notes or whatever your instructor says will you know line up 
with the notes that you've taken from the book. And this again is a refresher because if you read it on your own and now your instructor is talking about it, um, you kind of know more about what's going on and you also know what questions you need to ask, what you don't understand. Don't wait until class, you know, to ask questions because you haven't read. Now you're wasting other people's time as well. Reread your notes periodically, you refresh yourself or at least go over your terms because let's face, let's face it, we're not going to remember everything. Um, use colors. Like I said, these colors kind of make me reading over these notes not so boring because, you know, it, it, it draws my eyes to the colors. It's not just black. It's not boring. And my last tip would be have a distraction-free study time. If I'm trying to study, I don't need my phone in my pocket going off. Facebook blowing me up, Snapchat, you know, notifications, Instagram notifications. Because guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go, oh, girl, no. So you don't want that. Put your phone on silent or, you know, put your phone not on the table that you're studying in. Just have it away for a little bit because you can spare that little bit of time to study. Designate a study area, whether it's a table in your house, you know, or in your room or on the floor or Starbucks, the library, have a set study area because, you know, when you're laying down in your bed, which can be a good study area, but you get, you kind of get lazy, you get sleepy and you start here and then, you know, you're like this and then soon you, you get what I'm saying? So had just designated a study area. And that's all for this video. Um, leave some comments down below of how you study or hacks that you think will work. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.